Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Okay, well, the first experiment worked. Apparently, if you tap the top of a beer bottle, it'll explode. Literally two seconds in the video and I've made such a mess. So for this video, we're gonna be doing more science experiments, but the difference with this one is that I'm only gonna be taking ones that I find from TikTok. And I have to say, after scrolling deep into the heart of science TikToks, I think I lost brain cells. Like you're usually you're supposed to learn something kind of cool, but I think I got I think I got stupider. I don't know why it seems to be a thing to just make up a science experiment. I guess to troll people. Like this one, they're showing you that if you put an egg in Coke and you leave it for 24 hours, it becomes a bouncy egg, and you can throw it against the wall and it just won't crack. This definitely isn't one of those splat toys that you could buy off Wish for two dollars. What actually happens when you put an egg in Coke for 24 hours, it doesn't bounce, it just turns brown. I don't know if because of TikTok, people have seemed to try it because a lot there's a lot of experiments about it. Anyway, I'll get to some of those, some of the very obviously fake TikTok science experiments, but I want to try one that I don't think is fake. I haven't tried it though. All you need is a glass bottle and toilet paper, and apparently if you put it on like that, and turn it over, the liquid won't come out. This one, I wasn't too sure. It could be a troll because they're, they're making you spill water everywhere. And I think it's fairly simple to do. You just have a full bottle. Okay, well, I failed that. I think I need, it needs to be more full. Put it over the glass bottle like that. And now if I turn it upside down, it shouldn't spill. I think to really test it, should I do it over my head? Oh no. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna spill out the bottle? Three, two, one. It didn't spill. Wow. Why? The toilet paper somehow is keeping the water all in there. And it's pretty sturdy too. You could shake it and it doesn't come out. I'm gonna see how hard I could shake to it. What? Okay, wow. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna push it this time. Or should I? I shouldn't have done that. I pushed it, I pushed it, I pushed it. I, there's no point of doing that. Now my laptop's wet. Okay, moving on to the next one that I've actually been really wanting to test for a long time. I've had it bookmarked for like a year. And I have to say, if this one ends up being fake, I don't know how they got so many people to get in on this joke, but it seems like it would be fake. Cause this trend was viral on TikTok for a while, the glass bottle challenge, that if you tap a glass bottle, I think it's twice and then twice there, and then you hit the top, Apparently, it just flies off. So let's look at an example of someone doing it, and then we'll try it. For legal reasons, this is just juice. See, it just flies off. He is shook. See, it's just so rapid. Oh, oh it just God. happens. So many different people are trying it, so I'm gonna try it and see once and for all if the glass bottle challenge actually works. What am I doing wrong? Maybe it'll work with a Corona. It's just, it's not gonna work. Is it, maybe it needs to be on a flat surface. I'm gonna try this one in my kitchen. I don't think it's gonna change just because I went to my kitchen. I actually don't think it's fake because so many people have done it. I just think it's like a one in a million chance you hit the spot that makes it fly off. I don't even get the science behind it. Next one, I just wanna make fun of more TikToks to be honest. I found this one and this might be the most pointless experiment, just the most pointless TikTok in general. But it's tagged under science and it's posted by a science page. So you attach that to the top of a bottle. Now you torch a glass bottle till it becomes red. Okay. Okay, and then they bend it. 
okay? And that's it. It ends on this guy drinking a Coke like that. What's the point? How is this a science video? What is this screenshot? Like, in, sometimes instead of bending your neck to drink, it's easier just to re reform the whole bottle. And I'm gonna keep it going with the bad science experiments of TikTok. This one, it genuinely annoyed me why it's on the internet and why people are reposting it as if it's a science experiment. So this guy is telling us if we don't have an outlet to plug our phone into, we can just use two olives and yeah, it charges your phone. Why? Why, why make that? This is TikTok. This is TikTok. You just make up shit. What annoys me even more is that people seem to give these kind of TikToks mind that somehow it's made it into amazing science experiment compilation in TikTok. And this one made it in. Plugging your phone into an olive made it into amazing science experiment compilation. And if you go to the comments in the video, someone says, I have to watch this for my science class. What a cool teacher I have. There's no way. There's no way a teacher out there is requiring their students to look at this for a science class. They should be fired if they are suggesting that. Let's do an experiment that I'm actually gonna be testing. I have two left. So I saw a couple times this experiment that if you put a candle on top of water and push it down to the bottom, the candle will stay lit. Which it seems like the glass would just fill up if I push it to the bottom. Oh. That kind of failed. And now I can't I can't even lift up lift up the cup now. What? Whoa. I was not expecting that. So I think it worked, but it also went out after a couple seconds. And then I got jump scared. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's move on to the last one. And I saved this one for last because I feel like it's the most dangerous. And I think I found this one on TikTok, but I don't want to show it because I feel like it would kind of ruin the surprise. Apparently I should be able to make a rocket with a Coke bottle or a Pepsi and butane, which based on this, this is not an experiment you should try. Anything with butane, I feel like is kind of dangerous. This one is fairly simple to do. You basically need to get a layer of liquid butane on top. And as soon as you turn the thing upside down, it rockets straight up. And this one is so extreme, I have to do it outside or this whole room is gonna be covered in Pepsi. Okay, here we go. I honestly hate doing experiments outside. I like someone's watching. So now if I turn it upside down, it should rock it up. Wow, that went up like two feet. Second attempt. It landed right over the camera. And then the last step for this experiment is you recycle the bottle. Okay, so there you have it. Those are all the TikTok science experiments that I'm gonna be testing today. If you have one that you want me to test, send it to me over social media. It's actually getting really hard to find ones that I haven't done or aren't gonna kill me. A little bit of an update because some of you have asked if like, Gabe, are you okay? Because it seems like every time I don't post for a little while on YouTube, people really assume that I'm dead. Like really, people assume I'm dead if I don't post. But overall, for those that have been wondering, yes, I've been good. I've been trying to enjoy life. I've been healthy. My family's been good, so I can't complain. YouTube as a platform has at times been very frustrating. I try not to stress about that as much, but I just can't wait till I get to a point that I can make all the videos I wanna make and not have to worry about things behind the scenes. Uh, as for my next video, you can hold me to this. It's going to be out in the next week to two weeks max because I've been working on it for so long already. It's pretty much done. I just need to film it. And I'm mostly saying this because I know all the comments on my videos recently. It's pretty much just like, haha, see you in a year. So you'll see me in two weeks. Anyway, I think that's all I want to talk about this video. Thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you next time.